Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about mass flow rate in a process unit. So let's look at the problem. Okay, so at a certain stage of a water purification process, a 32 weight percent salt solution enters an evaporator at a rate of 100 kilograms per hour. Okay, and the products of this are water vapor and a concentrated solution in which the weight percent of salt has tripled. And they want us to calculate the mass flow rate in kilograms per hour of the two outlet streams. All right, so when drawing these uh, mass flow rate uh, processes, I would recommend getting a fresh sheet of paper so that you have plenty of room to work this out. Okay, so let's first just draw this out and um, write the information that's provided. So we have our evaporator here. And going in at 100 kilograms per hour is our salt um, solution. And we know that it's 32 weight percent salt, so 32 percent of 100 is just 32 kilograms an hour of salt. And that leaves the remaining amount to be water, so 68 kilograms per hour of water. Okay, and we know that we uh, have two streams coming out. We have the water vapor that's being evaporated and then we also have the other stream here that is a combination of water and salt. So let's write um, just a capital W for water and a capital C for concentrated solution. And we know that evaporating we have just water by itself so all the salt is going into the concentrated solution stream. So that's 32 kilograms per hour of salt. So we know in the concentrated uh, solution we have salt and we also have water. And evaporating we just have the water. So that's pretty easy to see that all the salt that's coming in is going out through the concentrated stream. Okay, and if we just write an overall balance, we know that the mass coming in has to equal the mass coming out, right? Because this is a steady state problem. So if we use the subscripts for each of our streams, we'll have the mass flow rate of the feed equals the mass flow rate of the water vapor plus the mass flow rate of the concentrated solution and the only value we have so far is the 100 kilograms per hour so we need to find one of these and then we'll be able to find the other so what they gave us one more piece of information that we can use they said that the weight percent of salt has tripled so initially we have the 32 percent in the inlet stream. So going out, if we triple that, that's going to be 0.96. So that is going to be the fraction. That fraction is going to be equal to the salt over the total mass of the stream. So uh, rewriting that, and we know the salt, so we can write 32, the 32 kilograms per hour of salt over the mass flow rate of the concentrated solution equals 0.96 and solving that we get a mass flow rate of 33.33 kilograms per hour and then with this we can plug that back into the equation we had up here and that means the mass flow rate of water must be 66.67 kilograms per hour. So we've answered the question and found the two 
mass flow rates that they asked for. And just as a, a self-check, you can uh, look at the overall mass balance, the uh, balance of water, and the balance of salt. And you will see that looking at what comes in and what comes out, all of these do balance out. All right, thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, please check out the other videos.